Kia ora, my name's Andrew Lees. I'm the Technical Director for the Royal New Zealand Ballet. So Romeo and Juliet is our biggest touring set. It takes us three trucks to transport it around the country. The main set itself is made up of um, a set of stairs at the back and two towers that uh, roll on and off stage and they are both pushed by crew members. And then there's a diorama up the back from that, which is in false perspective. Moving further down the stage, the bed is actually part of those stairs. It is pushed out from underneath the stairs. And then as it's coming out, there's some automation in it, which then lifts the bed itself out. And then Juliet's bedroom wall will fly in behind that to create that scene. We have flymen who practice to get the elements flying and out quite smoothly. All the flying's done, even with the arches, by people. There is no automation for flying in New Zealand, unlike other countries. It's just you know, knowing what you're doing and a lot of practice and attention to detail and timing with the music. The trickiest fly cue in this one really is with the bed coming out from under the stairs and the wall lining up. So we've got four infrared cameras placed around the stage and the auditorium. So when it's really dark, we can see everything very clearly. Because the dancers can't actually see on stage with this set, it's very boxed in. So we've put monitors in the wings so they can see what's going on as well. We have a stage manager in Prompt Corner and she has a full orchestral script. Uh, so she follows the conductor and in that script, on notes or sometimes movement, there is a cue point for lighting or a cue point for a set move or a cue point for a fly move. So we have all wear comms, which is a radio communication system that we can all hear the stage manager. And at any given point, she will give like LXQ13, go, uh, fly Q1, go. Sometimes the cues are multi-stacked, sometimes the individual. So everyone's always listening for their cue. We have tech rehearsals before we open and that's for dancers placing on stage but also for the technical moves and to plot out timing and what the crew are going to do. So we're choreographed as well as the dancers so quite often we're working in with them and they're working in with us on timings and who's doing what. We're kind of choreographed together really. Um, the, the crew are doing cues but it's sort of dancing around the dancers and the dancers dancing around us. Yeah.